the candlelight service for Lutherans is like one of my favorite things ever. I love, love the service. There's a small church like kind of uh, 20 miles away uh, and then like I think it's 72 miles away and then like four miles on a dirt road and it's just this little white church. It was really really cute. Uh, it's over a hundred years old and you can see like we went around there and you can see all the photos of the old church and then there's like this one little building with uh, two outhouses and like they've remodeled since then a couple times. So my husband's family is Norwegian and I grew up Lutheran so there's a lot of similar cultural things there but this is lefse. It's a flatbread made of potatoes and the way we ate it was we took uh, butter and then sprinkled sugar on top and then rolled it up. This hand-painted Norwegian ornament was absolutely stunning. I'm not quite sure the story of how it came to the U.S., but it's incredibly beautiful. And I had to look at the painting several times because I'm just amazed at how it was done. Hey guys, so I'm at my uh, mother-in-law and father-in-law's house. Uh, we just went to church this morning. It's neat how small towns are. Like I grew up in Leeds, South Dakota, and I moved to Rapid City. And my husband grew up in Sundance, Wyoming. They're about an hour and a half from each other. And then um, my husband's family goes to church in Spear Parish, or went to church in Spear Parish. Now they go to church in, uh, in a, uh, like his youth pastor was the dad of a girl that I worked with. And like, I played with her when I was little, like all this just like neat stuff like that. So that's, and then also the pastor at this church was the pastor of my church in Leed when I was little. And so it was neat to run into each other, like into people and get to know them again and talk to them and catch up and all that. So yeah. 